to the launch event of India's prestigious LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3, the mission of ISRO to the moon. I am Madhuri giving the commentary in English. With me is my co-commentator Shri Vikas Swarnkar giving the commentary in Hindi. We are joining you from the Mission Control Center at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar Sri Harikota, the spaceport of India. The launch of LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3 is scheduled to take place today, the 14th of July 2023 at 14.35 hours Indian Standard Time from the second launch pad. The mission intends to place Chandrayaan-3 weighing 3,900 kilograms into an elliptical parking orbit having a perigee of 170 kilometers, an apogee of 36,500 kilometers and an inclination of 21.3 degrees. Eventually, the destination of Chandrayaan-3 is the moon located 384,000 kilometers away, which will be achieved through a series of orbit raising and course correction maneuvers over the next few weeks. नमस्कार भारतीय अंतरिक्ष अभियान और इसरो के गौरवपूर्ण इतिहास में एक और अध्याय जुड़ने जा रहा है जिसके साक्षी हम सब होंगे आज 14 जुलाई 2023 को इसरो के सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र के श्रीहरिकोटा के द्वितीय प्रमोचन मंच से भारतीय मानक समय के अनुसार दोपहर दो बजकर पैंतीस मिनट सत्रह सेकेंड पर एल वी एम थ्री एम चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन का प्रमोचन किया जाएगा यह पूरे भारतवर्ष के लिए एक उत्साह और गौरवपूर्ण भरा समय है हम मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष से मैं विकास स्वर्णकार अपने साथी कमेंटेटर मिस माधुरी पी के साथ आप सभी दर्शकों का हार्दिक स्वागत करते हैं हम आपको मिशन से जुड़ी सारी जानकारियां तथा आंखों देखा हाल सुनाते रहेंगे तो बने रहिए हमारे साथ और साक्षी बनिए इस ऐतिहासिक मिशन के लिए इस मिशन को कुल चार मुख्य भागों में बांटा गया है पहला चंद्रयान थ्री अंतरिक्ष यान को एल बी एम थ्री द्वारा एक सौ सत्तर बाई छत्तीस हजार पांच सौ किलोमीटर की इलेप्टिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट में इक्कीस डिग्री के झुकाव के साथ अंतक्षेपित किया जाना दूसरा पृथ्वी की कक्षा को छोड़ चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाना तीसरा चंद्रमा की सतह पर लैंडर का सुरक्षित लैंड करना और अंत में रोवर का चंद्रमा की सतह पर विचरण करके तात्विक तथा रासायनिक विश्लेषण कर वैज्ञानिक आंकड़े जुटाना ऑन योर टीवी स्क्रीन ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जी हाँ आज के मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में यहाँ उपस्थित हैं विज्ञान और प्रौद्योगिकी राज्य मंत्री माननीय डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह वी आर अबाउट थर्टी वन मिनट्स फ्रॉम द शेड्यूल्ड लॉन्च टाइम यू आर वॉचिंग दिस लाइव फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दूरदर्शन यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच द लॉन्च इवेंट on isro website youtube facebook and twitter aapko gyat ho chandrayaan 1 22 october 2008 ko pslv c11 dwara prakshepit kiya gaya tha aur 8 november 2008 ko vah chandrama ki kaksha mein jaane mein safal raha tha aur apne mission ka uddeshya pura kiya jisme chandrama par pani ki khoj bhi shamil hai फिर उनतीस अगस्त 2009 में चंद्रयान वन से हमारा संपर्क किसी कारणवश टूट गया लेकिन इसमें मील के पत्थर ने चंद्रयान टू का मार्ग प्रशस्त किया था चंद्रयान टू जिसमें ऑर्बिटर के साथ चंद्रमा की सतह पर उतरने के लिए लैंडर और आसपास के क्षेत्र का विश्लेषण करने के लिए रोवर की अभिकल्पना की गई थी चंद्रयान टू को जुलाई 2019 को भेजा गया था इसमें ऑर्बिटर ने भली भांति अपना मिशन पूरा किया लेकिन लैंडर मॉड्यूल चंद्रमा के सतह पर सुरक्षित उतरने में असफल रहा था इसके पश्चात गहन अध्ययन और उन्नत तकनीक से परिपूर्ण सभी परीक्षणों और सिमुलेशन के पश्चात तैयार है सुदृढ़ चंद्रयान थ्री
आपको संक्षिप्त में एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर प्रमोचक यान की जानकारी देते हैं एल वी एम थ्री प्रमोचक यान अन्य सभी यानों की तुलना में सबसे अधिक विकसित तथा उन्नत अभिकल्पित किया गया है इसकी ऊंचाई तिरालीस दशमलव पांच मीटर तथा व्यास चार मीटर का होता है इसका कुल उत्थापन भार 640 टन का होता है यह तीन चरणीय यान है जिसकी क्षमता चार टन के निर्भर को भूतुल्यकाली अंतरण कक्षा में यानी 180 सौ अस्सी बाई किलोमीटर में ले जाने की क्षमता है तथा आठ टन के निर्भर को निम्न कक्षा में स्थापित करने की क्षमता है इस यान में प्रथम चरण में दो एस टू हंड्रेड स्टेपॉन बूस्टर्स लगे होते हैं जो कि ठोस नोधक पर आधारित चरण है जिन्हें सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र में उन्नत और परिपक्व उत्पादन प्रणाली द्वारा निर्मित किया जाता है दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड के मध्य में एल वन हंड्रेड टेन चरण है जो कि तरल नोधक पर आधारित चरण है और इसके ऊपर की ओर अट्ठाईस टन के क्रायोजेनिक ईंधन वाले C20 इंजन का प्रयोग करते हुए C25 चरण है जो कि भारत का सबसे बड़ा क्रायोजेनिक इंजन है इसे इसरो के लिक्विड प्रोपल्शन सिस्टम सेंटर IPRC द्वारा विकसित किया गया है As we await the launch, let me tell the viewers about the flight events for LVM3 M4 Chandrayaan-3 mission. At T0, the twin S200 will be ignited, and the mighty LVM3 rocket lifts off. The core L110 stage is airlit 108 seconds into the flight, while the rocket is at an altitude of 45 kilometers. The S200 strap-ons and L110 will thrust together for the next 20 seconds. Thereafter, the strap-ons will separate at 127 seconds past launch time, while the rocket is at 62 kilometers altitude. The relative velocity gained by the rocket in the meantime is 1.59 kilometers per second. At an altitude of 71 kilometers, closed loop guidance is initiated for LVM3. Separation of payload fairing takes place at 195 seconds past the launch at an altitude of 115 kilometers. The core 110 stage, having completed its burn time of about 200 seconds, is separated from the ongoing rocket. This event takes place at 306 seconds into the flight. At this point of time, the altitude will be 175 kilometers. and the rocket would have acquired 4.2 kilometers per second relative velocity then the upper cryogenic stage c25 ignites 2 seconds later and continues to burn for close to 650 seconds during the operational regime of c25 the largest relative velocity addition takes place it increases from 1.4.178 kilometers per second to 9.804 kilometers per second and the most awaited moment of the okay, chandrayaan 3 separation is scheduled to take place at 969.7 seconds into the flight the altitude will be 179.3 kilometers which is a part of elliptical transfer orbit of 170 by 36500 kilometers from then on the moon craft chandrayaan 3 would commence its journey to the moon is mission ka countdown 25 ghante purv shuru ho chuka hai और इस दौरान रॉकेट तथा अंतरिक्ष यान को पावर ऑन कर सभी तंत्रों की स्वास्थ्य जांच की जा रही है इस दौरान एल वन टेन चरण तथा क्रायो क्रायोजेनिक चरण पर ईंधन का भराव सुनिश्चित किया जा चुका है यह काम प्रमोचन मंच से सुदूर स्थल पर पूर्ण शौचालय तकनीक से पूर्ण सुरक्षा के साथ संपूर्ण किया जाता है आप अभी अपनी स्क्रीन पर यहाँ व्यूअर्स गैलरी का दृश्य देख रहे हैं बहुत भारी संख्या में यहाँ लोग उपस्थित हुए हैं इस रोमांचक दृश्य को देखने के लिए मौसम विभाग के अनुसार मौसम पूरी तरह सामान्य अनुकूल है इस प्रमोचन के लिए अब आपके सामने प्रस्तुत है एल वी एम थ्री का इंटीग्रेशन वीडियो
we bring to you a small clipping of the integration video for the LVM3 rocket. Minus 25 minutes. On your TV screens, you are watching the visuals from second vehicle assembly building where the full S LPM3 M4 rocket has been assembled. These are the strap on boosters getting assembled segment by segment. Each S200 has got three segments called nozzle end segment, middle segment, and head end segment to which the nozzle is assembled and one after the other the segments are joined together. When the fully assembled solid rocket booster is ca handled carefully with a crane and being lowered on to the mobile launch pedestal as an integrated rocket, the igniter assembly then takes place and this is the strap on nose cones. On your TV screens, it is the core L110 stage being brought to the second vehicle assembly building for tilting and assembly between the S200 boosters. जी हाँ अभी आपने देखा दोनों S200 स्टेपन बूस्टर्स के साथ L110 को भी संलग्न कर दिया गया है और यह है क्रायोजेनिक अपर स्टेज CH25 कहा जाता है इसे बहुत ही जटिल इंजन है ये C20 इंजन बहुत ही सावधानी पूर्वक पूरी दक्षता के साथ यह कार्य संपन्न किया जाता है यह है इक्विपमेंट बे जो कि दिमाग है इस रॉकेट का और यह है हमारा प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल चंद्रयान थ्री का प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल है ये चंद्रयान टू के पश्चात इसमें काफी सुधार किए गए हैं के सोलर पैनल्स लगे हुए हैं फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी न्यूटन के थ्रस्टर्स हैं और यहाँ आप देख रहे हैं लैंडर और रोवर को ये रोवर है जो चंद्रमा में विचरण करेगा पूरी सावधानी के साथ इसे संयोजित कर दिया जाता है और यह लैंडर मॉड्यूल रोवर के साथ अब इस लैंडर मॉड्यूल को प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल के साथ संयोजित कर दिया जा रहा है माइनस ट्वेंटी टू मिनट रिक्वेस्ट ऑल स्टेशन Change over to channel two at T minus twenty one minutes. No confirmation. All the preparations to control. Pooned होने के पश्चात. MCC confirms data from chain two. इस समुच्चय को. RSV confirms data from chain two. Payload fairing के अंदर सुरक्षित कर दिया जा रहा है. Payload adapter, अंतरिक्ष यान और payload fairing. इन सभी के समुच्चय को encapsulated assembly कहते हैं. अब इसे व्हीकल असेंबली बिल्डिंग लाया जा रहा है और क्रेन की मदद से इसे क्रायो स्टेज के ऊपर संयोजित किया जा रहा है अब पूर्णतः तैयार एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर रॉकेट व्हीकल असेंबली बिल्डिंग से निकलकर लॉन्च पैड की ओर जा रहा है इसे मोबाइल लॉन्च पेडेस्टल पर रखकर करीब एक किलोमीटर की दूरी तय की जाती है अब इसे सावधानी पूर्वक लॉन्च पैड ले आया गया है और बाकी की स्वास्थ्य जांच यहां से पूरी की जाएगी पूर्ण संयोजित और तैयार एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर रॉकेट आगे की जांच तथा तरल नोदक का भराव यहां संपन्न किया जाता है पिक्चर बैकग्राउंड इन द सेकेंड लॉन्च पैड 
LVM3 rocket will fly for the seventh launch today. 43.5 meters tall and 642 tons heavy launch vehicle has been operationalized after an experimental and two developmental missions. Mission executives on your screen. That's the spacecraft director. Control to note event number four. And associate spacecraft director. LVM-3 is India's largest and heaviest launch vehicle ferrying Indian and international customer satellites. Vehicle Director to Mission Director, LVM-3 M4 launch vehicle is ready for the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Mission Director Roger. Mission Director to Now we are going to launch from 19 minutes to 12 scans. Health is normal and cleared for launch. Mission Director Roger. Arvodi to Mission Director, range is ready for LVM-3, M4, Chandrayaan-3 launch. Minus 19 minutes. Mission Director, Roger. TTC Director to Mission Director, all is track stations and network is ready to support LVM-3, M4, uh, Chandrayaan-3 mission. Range Operation Director, director, director Roger. Telemetry Tracking and Command Director, Satellite Director or Vehicle Director, Apne Tantro Ki Jankari, Mission Director ko dete hain. All necessary clearances are obtained for the launch of LVM-3, M4, Chandrayaan-3 mission. Mission Readiness Review Committee and Launch Authorization Board have already given authorization for the launch of LVM-3, M4, Chandrayaan-3 mission. Based on the readiness of vehicle systems, range, spacecraft and TTC confirmed by respective mission executives and the prevailing favorable weather conditions, Mission Director he hereby authorizes for the launch operation sequence of launch of LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3 mission at 14 hours, 35 minutes, 17 seconds Indian Standard Time today, the 14th July 2023 from second launch pad of SDSC SHAR. Control Roger, all stations to know, Mission Director has given authorization for launch. Yes, now you have heard your question. Mission Director has given the approval of the automatic launch sequence for this launch. After that, the Vehicle Director has given the approval of the automatic launch sequence. On your screens, you have just watched Mission Director Shri Mohan Kumar giving clearance for the initiation of automatic launch sequence. This is based on the confirmation of readiness of all participating team for range, launch vehicles, spacecraft and tracking. The automatic launch sequence is scheduled to begin at T-14 minutes 30 seconds as a part of which the most critical control system elements are checked for the launch vehicle. Minus 17 minutes. Timing Very to close control, to the launch to time, control will be passed on to the onboard Roger. computers. To, to not gallery darshako se khachakhach bhari hui vlcc roger bahut bhari sankhya mein yahan log utasthit hue hain aap sabhi ka hardik swagat hai satish dhawan antariksh kendra mein enthusiastic viewers from all across the country gathering at satish dhawan space center launch view gallery for witnessing this historic moment of chandrayaan 3 launch the countdown for LVM-3 M4 Chandrayaan-3 mission has lasted for 25 and a half hours. It was commenced on 1.30 p.m. yesterday. During countdown, the launch vehicle stages are serviced with propellants, gas bottles meant for stage operations are charged. While the Earth storable propellant filling was concluded more than 16 hours ago, cryogenic propellant. SDS servers activated. MC confirms data from Shar. अभी अभी confirm किया गया है. Vehicle director Shri B J C Thomas ने automatic launch sequence शुरू कर दिया है. अब यह launch vehicle L V M three M four rocket automatic launch sequence के अंतर्गत है. Automatic launch sequence इसका मतलब on board computer पूरी तरह से चालित हो चुका है. We are very close to the launch. 
and the day of launch wind biasing data is fed during the countdown to the onboard computers to enable most suitable steering of the launch vehicle through atmosphere up next we will watch a cut and raise video on this Unit machine number 465 request to cgss to confirm supply of gn2 to cryo moon this familiar object in the night sky has inspired the imagination of astronomers and ordinary people alike from time immemorial humans have marveled at the beauty of the moon used it to count time and navigate the high seas in modern times moon the only natural satellite of the earth has acquired added importance due to the belief that moon is the key to our understanding of the evolution of the solar system in general and earth in particular besides moon's precious resources and low gravity have further endeared it to humans india a major space faring nation has conducted a detailed exploration of the moon through its chandrayaan program the country has sent two robotic spacecraft to orbit the moon and to take a repeated look at its surface chandrayaan 1 demonstrated india's ability to reach the surface of the moon at a place and time of its choice and with it india became the fourth country to reach the surface of the moon in november 2008 Besides Chandrayaan 1's conclusive discovery of water on the moon in 2009 was praised as a path-breaking discovery. The follow-on mission Chandrayaan 2 had an orbiter, a lander called Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. In the past 4 years, the orbiter has repeatedly observed the lunar surface and even today is working satisfactorily now 3900 kilograms chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is being sent to the moon with the objective of making yet another focused attempt to slowly land on the lunar surface and to explore it with the help of a rover following the spacecraft launch by india's most capable rocket lvm3 the chandrayaan 3 lander carrying a rover within it will be carried into an orbit around the moon by the propulsion module a little later the lander will separate from that module and will attempt to make a soft landing in the south polar region of the moon this region is of intense interest as it has many permanently shadowed craters which could contain water ice and precious minerals Chandrayaan 3 lander has four scientific instruments or payloads of which one will study the moon quakes while the other one studies as to how the surface of the moon allows heat to flow through it the third one will study the plasma environment near the moon's surface and the fourth instrument will enable scientists to measure the distance between the earth and moon very accurately the two instruments on the rover help us study the composition of the moon's surface using x-rays and laser respectively while the lander and rover will be in direct contact with each other The propulsion module circling the moon will observe the light coming from Earth, the only planet which we know which is definitely teeming with life. This observation will help in understanding the nature of distant planets circling stars other than the sun. As Chandrayaan-3 undergoes important tests and gears up for launch, thousands of isro scientists including those who will launch it control it and receive the precious scientific information from it using giant dish antennas are readying themselves for the challenging tasks ahead in the past 
their dedication and skill have enabled India to earn praise from across the world and made it proud. Let us wish them well in this great endeavor called Chandrayaan 3. आपके सामने हैं इसरो के अध्यक्ष श्री एस सोमनाथ अभी अभी आपने देखा एक संक्षिप्त वीडियो जिसमें एनिमेशन की मदद से इस पूरे मिशन की यात्रा को बताया गया है इस मिशन के ऑब्जेक्टिव को समझाया गया चंद्रयान थ्री हैज टू प्रोड्यूसर्स with destination moon as their mission objective chandrayaan 1 launched by pslv c11 in october 2008 included lunar orbiter and impactor during the mission life of around 10 months chandrayaan 1 had mapped the minerals on lunar surface acquired 70000 images to Minus help create 3d atlas of moon and what's more found water on moon's polar regions Chandrayaan 2 launched by LVM3 M1 on 22nd of July 2019 consisted of lunar orbiter lander named Vikram and rover named Pragyan. The orbiter is still providing insightful scientific information through its payloads like spectrometers, synthetic aperture radar and cameras. चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रमा की सतह में उतरने के इस मिशन को कुल दस चरणों में पूरा किया जाएगा संक्षेप में यह इस प्रकार है सर्वप्रथम चंद्रयान थ्री को एल बी एम थ्री प्रमोचक रॉकेट द्वारा पृथ्वी की एलिप्टिकल पार्केट ऑर्बिट जो कि 170 सौ सत्तर बाई छत्तीस किलोमीटर की ऑर्बिट है उसमें प्रमोचित किया जाएगा वहां से चंद्रयान में मैनोवर कर पृथ्वी की गुरुत्वाकर्षण की सहायता से चंद्रयान की गति को वृद्धि की जाएगी फिर चंद्रयान पृथ्वी की कक्षा से निकलकर चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाएगा चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाते ही उसमें फिर से मैन्यूवर कर चंद्रमा की 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा में स्थापित किया जाएगा फिर सही समय आने पर लैंडर मॉड्यूल को प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा यह आप अपनी स्क्रीन पर देख पा रहे हैं यह है प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल का मुख्य उद्देश्य है लैंडर तथा रोवर को पृथ्वी की कक्षा से चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जो कि 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा होगी उसमें उचित अभिवृत्ति में लैंडर मॉड्यूल को अपने से पृथक कर चंद्रमा की सतह पर भेजना है ऐसा करने के लिए इसमें एमएमएच और मॉन का प्रयोग कर 440 न्यूटन के थ्रस्टर्स वाले इंजन लगे हुए हैं इसमें आवश्यक संचार सुविधाएं भी उपलब्ध है speaking about the major milestones in the journey of chandrayaan 3 to the moon the spacecraft consists of propulsion module lander and rover lander is planned to touch down at south pole of moon the major 10 phases of the mission are the first phase called the earth centric phase comprises of pre launch launch ascent and earthbound maneuver While the second phase is the lunar transfer phase as the name suggests the Chandrayaan spacecraft moves closer to the moon. Next fa eight phases are in the moon orbit. The third being the lunar orbit insertion followed by the moon bound maneuvers phase which mark the fourth power. phase. And next is it is now that the propulsion module separates from the lunar Minus module. 6 minutes when 100 by 100 circular orbit of the moon is achieved the chandrayaan 3 in its sixth phase carries out deep boost external power from withdrawn 100 kilometers to 100 by 30 kilometers orbit followed by the pre landing phase as seventh phase and then the most awaited Light landing phase takes place आपके सामने है मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष का दृश्य सभी सेंटर डायरेक्टर्स अपने स्क्रीन पर देख रहे हैं कि 
ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस किस तरह पूरा हो रहा है दर्शक दीर्घा भी इस इंतजार पे प्रमोशन से हम पांच मिनट की दूरी पर हैं माइनस फाइव मिनट्स मोस्ट ऑफ यू माइट रिकॉल द चंद्रयान टू मिशन एंड द इंटेंस मोमेंट्स व्हेन all the enthusiastic indians were waiting for the touchdown of the lander on the surface of moon the launch view gallery with the overwhelming crowd of visitors पूरे दर्शक दीर्घा यहाँ बहुत उत्साहित मौसम में थोड़ी परेशानी हो सकती है लेकिन सब अपनी सुविधाओं के साथ में यहाँ उपस्थित हुए हैं वी आर क्लोज टू फोर मिनट्स फ्रॉम द शेड्यूल लॉन्च टाइम माइनस फोर मिनट्स gaining from the heritage of chandrayaan 2 the chandrayaan 3 is upgraded in several aspects for the enhanced robustness Pirate through extensive ground on. tests and simulation on board computer in flight mode automatic launch sequence jari hai is dauran sabhi sanchar tantro ki swasthya jaanch battery aviation poorn kiya ja chuka hai कुछ अंतिम गतिविधियां जैसे ऑनबोर्ड कंप्यूटर पर रियल टाइम प्रोग्राम लोड करना पायरो लाइन को आम मोड में लाना गैस टैंस का अंतिम आवेशन और यह सभी घटनाएं संतोषजनक तरीके से पूर्ण की जा रही हैं माइनस थ्री मिनट अब हम उड़ान से तीन मिनट की दूरी पर हैं प्रमोचन तथा इस प्रमोचन की घटनाक्रम को पहले ही बताया जा चुका है सर्वप्रथम दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड स्टोपॉन बूस्टर प्रज्वलित किए जाएंगे टी जीरो पर एस टू हंड्रेड के प्रज्वलन के 108 सेकंड के पश्चात एल वन टेन जो कि माइनस टू मिनट तरल नोदक पर आधारित चरण है इसका प्रज्वलन शुरू कर दिया जाएगा एल वन टेन के प्रज्वलन के पश्चात करीब एक सेकंड पर एस टू हंड्रेड बूस्टर्स को यान से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा We are close to one and a half minutes from the scheduled launch time. सभी दर्शकों को ज्ञात है यह एक ऐतिहासिक मिशन होने वाला है पूरे भारतवर्ष की आंखें इसमें हैं इस यादगार पल के लिए यहाँ सब उपस्थित अब हम उड़ान से एक मिनट की दूरी पर माइनस फिफ्टी सेकेंड ऑल सिक्वेंस इज रेडी माइनस फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड माइनस फोर्टी सेकेंड एलवन टेन वी एच पी पी ओपन एमओवी सेवेंटी नाइन ओपन सेकेंड माइनस थर्टी सेकेंड रियल टाइम प्रोग्राम एक्टिवेटेड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड एलवन टेन वी एस पी पी ओपन माइनस ट्वेंटी सेकेंड माइनस फिफ्टीन 
டென் நைன் எயிட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஜீரோ ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் lift off normal pivot tracking here we have a majestic lift off of lvm3 m4 rocket carrying india's prestigious chandrayaan 3 spacecraft pivot tracking prajalan aur safalta poorn uthapan lvm3 m4 rocket ka yah bheem ka rocket aasman ko cheerte hue apni bhayank dahad se charo aur kampan utpann kar raha hai isse hum yah mehsoos kar sakte hain aur yahi dahad hai jo vaigyanikon ko romanchit karti hai एलवीएम थ्री के उत्थापन के साथ ही हमारे अंतरिक्ष यान चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रमा की यात्रा प्रारंभ हो चुकी है एज द रॉकेट इज सोरिंग थ्रू द्लियर स्काईज एवरी सेकेंड मूविंग क्लोजर टू द एकमेंट ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट माइल स्टोन इन इट्स मिशन टू मून एवरी इंडियन विटनेसिंग द लॉन्च लाइफ इज कंटेंट विद फीलिंग ऑफ वॉचिंग हिस्ट्री इन द मेकिंग चंद्रमा की सतह पर अपना छाप छोड़ने के लिए चंद्रयान थ्री अपने मिशन को पूरा करने निकल चुका है वर्तमान में दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड स्टेप ऑन बूस्टर सामान निष्पादन करते हुए अपनी निर्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं एस टू हंड्रेड मोटर्स थ्रस्टिंग साइमल्टेनियसली जनरेटिंग थ्रस्ट ऑफ क्लोज टू सिक्स थाउजेंड किलो न्यूटन इन वैक्यूम दिन सॉलिड प्रोपलिंट 204.5 tons in each strap on close to 2 tons of propellant being burnt each second s200 strap on boosters ka full turn stage ignited prajwalan kal 126 second ka hai aur abhi abhi koshna ki gayi l110 stage ka bhi prajwalan shuru ho chuka hai apart from the strap on performance normal The core stage has also commenced its operation. This stage based on combination 200 stages are separated of hypergolic earth storable liquid propellant UH25 and N204. Now the S200s have been separated. Ghatna karam ke anusar ya yan ye is yan se S200 स्ट्रेपॉन बूस्टर्स को सफलतापूर्वक पृथक कर दिया गया है यह काम सेपरेशन मोटर्स की मदद से किया जाता है इसके बाद एल वन टेन तरल नोदक पर आधारित और विकास इंजन के साथ यह चरण सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ अपने उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहा है अभियान क्लोज लूप गाइडेंस के अंतर्गत है L110 stage performance normal The trajectory of launch vehicle is closely following the prediction Payload fairing separated Ji ha payload fairing ko prithak kar diya gaya hai yaan se kyunki yaan ab 114.8 km ki unchai prapt kar chuka hai इस चरण का कुल प्रज्वलन काल 200 सौ सेकेंड होता है और इस दौरान यह करीब 1600 सौ किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न करता है लॉन्च टाइम करेंट ऑल्टीट्यूड इज हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स इन द टू हंड्रेड सेकेंड ऑफ इट्स ऑपरेशन द एल हंड्रेड एंड टेन स्टेज कैरीज द रॉकेट अप टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स ऑल्टीट्यूड एंड इम्पार्ट रिलेटिव वेलॉसिटी of 4.18 kilometers per second that is 250 kilometers every minute l110 stage performance normal lvm3 m4 rocket ka dwitiya charan purnata samanya nishpadan karte hue is charan mein kul 113 ton ke taral nodak bhare jate hain एन टू ओ फोर तथा यू एच ट्वेंटी फाइव अर्थ स्टोरेबल प्रॉपलेंट को ईंधन के रूप में प्रयोग किया जाता है इस चरण में
your stage ignition is authorized agla charan c25 ka prajwalan bhavi hai plus 5 minutes one front stage thrust cut off and separated to yes, c25 ignition command 25 ignition confirmed that's a piece of really good news that the third stage has started its operation the c25 stage has been ignited ji ha ek bahut hi jatil prakriya hoti hai cryo engine ka ignition aur iske prajwalan ke sath hi taaliyon ki gadgadahat se gunj utha hai mission niyantran kaksh तृतीय चरण C25 वर्तमान में प्रणोद उत्पन्न कर रहा है पूर्णतः सामान्य सभी तंत्र पूर्णतः सामान्य है 118 किलो न्यूटन थर्स्ट इन वैक्यूम इज व्हाट द स्टेज डेवलप्स विथ इट्स 28.6 टन प्रोपेल इन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लिक्विड हाइड्रोजन एंड लिक्विड ऑक्सीजन present altitude is good performance normal tritiy aur ya antim charan hai siyan ka c25 ya cryo andhan par aadhari charan hai jisme liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen ka istemal hota hai isme kul 28 ton ka cryo andhan puri suraksha tatha savdhani ke sath bhara jata hai is charan mein 186 kN ka pranod utpanna hota hai aur ya kareeb 640 second tak prachalit rahega इसमें दिशा नियंत्रण के लिए इंजन जिम्बल का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है क्रायो ईंधन का विशिष्ट आवेग चार सौ सेकंड के करीब होता है करेंटली द रॉकेट इज एट एन ऑल्टीट्यूड ऑफ 210 हंड्रेड एंड टेन किलोमीटर मिनट there is while there is no much variation in altitude uh, this stage will add to the relative velocity immensely cryo stage performance normal पेलोड के बारे में जानकारी देते हैं लैंडर मॉड्यूल्स पे कई वैज्ञानिक प्रयोगों के लिए पेलोड्स लगाए गए हैं इंडिया प्रेस्टिजियस लूना लैंडिंग स्पेसक्राफ्ट चंद्रयान थ्री मूविंग क्लोजर टू इट्स इंटेंडेड इंजेक्शन स्पॉट इन द ऑर्बिट The propulsion module provides propulsion for earthbound maneuvers, translunar injection and moonbound orbits. It also has a payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of earth and lunar orbit. The abbreviated name of the payload is SHAPE. Among the payloads of the lander module, the following are included. A landmare probe called Rambha to measure the near surface plasma density that is the density of ions and electrons and its changes with time the second payload is chandra surface thermophysical experiment or chaste to measure thermal properties of lunar surface near polar regions to measure the seismicity around the landing site and delineating the structure of the lunar crust and mantle payload ISL ILSA is there The rover after its descent will further the scientific study objectives normal. through its own payloads For better understanding of chemical and mineralogical composition of lunar surface LIBS or laser induced breakdown spectroscope is included Another payload is the alpha particle x-ray spectrometer जी हाँ लैंडर मॉड्यूल में तीन पेलोड हैं रोवर में दो और प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल में एक पेलोड भेजा गया है चंद्रयान थ्री के स्वदेशी लैंडर और रोवर 
में इन नितभारों का इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है यह अंतर्ग्रही मिशन के लिए भी आवश्यक तकनीकों का प्रदर्शन करेंगे लैंडर के पास यह क्षमता है कि वह चंद्रा का चंद्रमा की उबड़ खाबड़ सतह में भी बड़ी सावधानी से उतर सकेगा और रोवर को बाहर लाने के लिए और संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान करने के लिए सक्षम होगा चंद्रयान थ्री के लैंडर और रोवर में कुल छह नित हैं रेडियो एस्ट्रोनॉमी ऑफ मून बाउंड हाइपर सेंसिटिव आइनोस्फियर एंड एटमोस्फियर जिसे शॉर्ट में रंभा कहा जाता है यह चंद्रमा की सतह के पास प्लाज्मा के घनत्व तथा समय के साथ बदलाव का मापन करेगा इसके बाद चंद्र सरफेस थर्मोफिजिकल एक्सपेरिमेंट चंद्रमा के ध्रुवीय सतह के आसपास की थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज का मापन करेगा इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर ल्यूनर सिस्मिक एक्टिविटी लैंडिंग साइट के आसपास के क्षेत्र में भूकंप जैसी गतिविधियों का पता लगाएगा रोवर में चंद्रमा की सतह के तत्वात्मक विश्लेषण के लिए लेजर ब्रेकडाउन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोप और अल्फा पार्टिकल एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोप इसका इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है एक बहुत ही दिलचस्प वैज्ञानिक निर्भार है शेप स्पेक्ट्रोपोलरेमिट्री ऑफ हैबिटेबल प्लैनेट अर्थ जो कि चंद्रमा से पृथ्वी से परावर्तित नियर इंफ्रारेड किरणों का विश्लेषण दूसरे जीवन सहायक ग्रहों को खोजने में मदद करेगा वर्तमान में C25 इंजन कार्यरत है और पूर्णतः सामान्य प्रदर्शन कर रहा है अब हम प्रमोशन से 700 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं सापेक्ष गति 6.5 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड ऊंचाई एक सौ इक्यानवे किलोमीटर एज वी हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द चंद्रयान थ्री अपग्रेड्स in the aspects of enhanced robustness through extensive ground tests and simulation during the last phase of landing the module will have a vertical velocity of less than 1 meter per second and a horizontal velocity of less than 0.5 meters per second from a height of 3 meters the lander legs are designed to be robust enough to thrive the impact the cameras are tuned to take pictures ahead of the landing and enable intelligent decision making for choice of best location to land avoiding craters and Real boulders on lunar surface normal. the successive pictures will also enable the craft to determine its horizontal and vertical velocity in real time laser doppler velocity sensor is an upgrade in chandrayaan 3 over its predecessor it helps to determine instantaneous velocity of craft insights into the behavior of chandrayaan 2 in the last few minutes of its descent has revealed to the scientists the necessity for upgrade in the guidance algorithm inputs from various sensors are used by the autonomous navigation guidance algorithm of chandrayaan 3 to plan the flight path to the most suitable landing spot the engines of chandrayaan 3 are capable of more gradual throttling also वर्तमान में हम प्रमोचन से 817 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं करीब 950 सेकंड पर तृतीय चरण क्रायोजेनिक इंजन को शट ऑफ कर दिया जाएगा और उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर चंद्रयान थ्री को यान से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा चंद्रयान थ्री को एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर द्वारा एलिप्टिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट में लॉन्च करने के पश्चात 170 किलोमीटर की परिजी पर क्रमशः पांच बार मैन्यवरिंग कमांड दिया जाएगा पांचवी बार में यह पृथ्वी की पृथ्वी से चंद्रमा की ओर प्रस्थान करेगा जिसे हम ल्यूनर ट्रांसफर ऑर्बिट के नाम से जानते हैं फिर 5 अगस्त 2023 को यह चंद्रमा की कक्षा में प्रवेश करेगा और फिर क्रमशः पांच मैनेवरिंग के पश्चात प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल चंद्रमा की 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा में स्थापित हो जाएगा यहां यह उचित समय और अमृति में लैंडर मॉड्यूल को पृथक किया करेगा 
और 23 अक्टूबर 2023 को चंद्रमा की सतह पर लैंडिंग की प्रक्रिया शुरू की जाएगी We have come close to 900 seconds after the launch. Currently, the C-25 stage is thrusting. Current relative velocity is 9.29 kilometers per second. जी हाँ, कुछ शिक्षणों में हम देखेंगे तृतीय चरण एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर रॉकेट का चंद्रयान को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर ले जा रहा है और उद्दिष्ट कक्षा प्राप्त होते ही और उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त होते ही चंद्रयान थ्री को अंतक्षेपित कर दिया जाएगा अभी अभी पुष्टि की गई चंद्रयान चंद्रयान थ्री को प्रमोचन के कक्षा प्राप्त कर ली गई है चंद्रयान थ्री को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है इलेप्टिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट पर चंद्रयान थ्री हैज अटीन द मेजर माइल स्टोन सक्सेसफुली चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन अकम्पलिश हैंडिंग ओवर टू मिशन डायरेक्टर मिशन डायरेक्टर The LBM-3 M4 Chandrayaan mission accomplished its uh, uh, precise satellite uh, injection conditions. LBM-3 M4 mission is successful. Jai Hind. The launch has also added a feather in the cap of LBM-3 rocket. You can watch the jubilant congratulatory gestures of its two scientists in the mission control center. जी हाँ चंद्रयान को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है लेकिन चंद्रयान थ्री की यात्रा अभी जारी है अब इस मिशन के बारे में हम अध्यक्ष महोदय से सुनेंगे और हम आपसे आज्ञा लेते हैं वी साइन अप नेक्स्ट इज एड्रेस बाय सेक्रेटरी डीओएस चेयरमैन इस Congratulations India Chandrayaan 3 has started its journey towards moon Our dear LVM3 has already put Chandrayaan 3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth 170 by 36500 km was its intended target orbit and it is precisely there now and let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan 3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days so let me wish all the very best to chandrayaan 3 for its further journey towards moon before that let me introduce the team behind uh, this mission the mission director mr mohan kumar and also the and also the project director of lvm3 and uh, we have also the mission director for the chandrayaan 3 craft the project director of chandrayaan 3 veera muthuvel so over to them mohan Thank you, sir. Honorable, Honorable Minister of State for Science and Technology and Departments of Space and Atomic Energy, uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected uh, Chairman ISRO and Secretary Departments and of Space, former Secretaries of the Department, invited dignitaries, respected. Uh, dignitaries and invitees, I am very happy to report here that the LVM-3 M4 vehicle has injected the Chandrayaan-3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit uh, and once again the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. 
uh, I would like to appraise three things here. The vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement, especially in the, uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable. Secondly, the payload also, capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches. We are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands. Here, so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle. For example, the S200 nozzle, they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards, uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% NDT and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed. The L100 stage, Vikas engine, mostly it is 100% uh, qualified to be the human rated engine with uh, indigenously developed LET throats and the uh, Pocket, uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system. Oh, yes, uh, and the C20, <laughs> C20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly, uh, 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 actually, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so we will, we will yeah. describe all those details later ah, because sir. of shortage of time. Yes, sir. I take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh, because <laughs> mission executives for all the supports all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch. Once the la launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified, really this is a penance of so many across the ISRO centers, our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners, major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems, and our own GOCO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success, which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pranams for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind. Respected Chairman Isro, Center Directors, Dignitaries and uh, my team Chandrayaan 3, very happy to note that our Chandrayaan 3 has been injected into an intended orbit with very close orbital parameters. Congratulations and thanks to LVM3 team. And all our spacecraft health parameters are normal, including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We'll be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from Istrak Bangalore. Um, many critical events are lined up, starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit, and separation of lander, and set of deboost maneuvers, and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing. I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, Director URSC and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity who are behind, who, who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission. My special thanks to Chandrayaan 3 project executives, Associate Project Director Kalpana, Deputy Project Directors, Project Managers across the ISRO, ISRO centers uh, who, have, who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft. My special thanks to the the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project. I also thank the, uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission. My special thanks to URSC council members, group directors, deputy directors across the ISRO centers. And uh, this, uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the God. Thank you.
Uh, we have our Honorable Minister for Space, Minister of State for Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of LVM3. So I, we would like to hear a few words from him. Over to you, sir. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Sri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team Isro, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July, 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen. And today, here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities, living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. <laughs> and before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st century. Thank you and congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. We will also introduce the directors of the centers who have done all those great work of building the rocket, building the scientific instruments for Chandrayaan-3, the Chandrayaan spacecraft itself, and made all those critical systems, and also the uh, agencies who are going to handle the rest of the mission part, the tracking and the ground, sta ground stations and all those teams will be are here. So I request the directors of those centers to join. First, director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Good afternoon, India. In last one year, this is the 10th mission, including the precise landing of the reusable land launch vehicle. So with this mission, this is the seventh mission of LVM3, the successive successful mission. With this, the success rate of LVM3 is 100%. And this is the ideal vehicle for Gaganyan. <laughs> Some of the changes that we are incorporating in Gaganyan, we have implemented here. And the uh, Mark III has crossed the reliability of 0.9 and inching forward. So I take this opportunity to salute the entire ISRO community, especially the VSC community and all launch vehicle centers, industry partners for making the stages, making the sub-assemblies sub and testing. In fact, this is the third launch of LVM3 in one year. You know, they're, uh, they're realizing the stages, assembling, testing, and then launching three LVM3s in one year is a Herculean task. I salute the industry as well as all the ISRO centers for this. And And I wish all the very best. We know that when the beginning is good, the ending has to be good. I wish all the very best to the Chadrayan for its solitary journey through the vastness of space and for making a feather-like soft landing 
in the fourth week of August. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Narayanan, Director LPSC. Good afternoon to all of you. It is a historical event for Indian space program and a proud movement for all the Indians across the globe on this momentous occasion of the successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3. Three. three in one spacecraft in the required orbit with the highest level of precision by our heaviest launch vehicle, LVM-3. After the two launches of LVM-3 vehicle this year, this vehicle is realized in the record shortest time. Today, once again, all the vehicle systems have performed, demonstrated the seventh successive, successful launch. As you all know, the entire spacecraft community has put wholehearted effort during last four years, and we have realized a marvelous, great scientific satellite. For this mission, the entire vehicle performance is as expected, as predicted, in fact, the precision in which the satellite is launched shows the reliability of this vehicle. And we too have four liquid propulsion modules, two in the launch vehicle, the L110 stage, C25 stage, it has performed extremely well along with all other vehicle systems. We too have two more propulsion modules, one for taking the spacecraft to the moon, another one for soft landing. I think it is already well integrated, the system health is very good. Today's success is the culmination of the dedicated, smart and hard work of all the ISRO team members and the work culture of ISRO and the review process what we follow. I am sure all further mission operations will be a grand success and we will have the successful soft landing. On this occasion, let me congratulate and compliment the members of ISRO team, our family members who have really sacrificed, the partners from industry and academia and the various review for all. Thank you. Jai Hind. The Chandrayaan craft was built at the URO Satellite Center, so I request the director of URC to speak. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to first thank my colleagues uh, uh, from uh, the Launch Vehicle Center for providing a textbook-like launch for uh, Chandrayaan-3 on its uh, journey towards the uh, moon. Thank you very much. And uh, as uh, Director LPSC and Director VSSC mentioned, realizing this kind of uh, uh, launch vehicle, third launch vehicle within a year's time is indeed a Herculean task. And uh, thank you very much for the effort that has been put by all the members of the launch vehicle community and the uh, industry supporting them. Uh, coming to Chandrayaan-3, um, Mohan was uh, telling that it is a penance. In fact, it is a penance of the Chandrayaan-3 team for the last four years, uh, which has come today as an outcome. It is uh, sitting like a brain sitting inside the head of uh, a human being on that mighty vehicle on top of that that uh, satellite is, uh, was sitting and it was such a, such a happy moment to see that satellite getting separated and uh, our work continues from now for the next 42 days till the, we reach the lunar orbit and uh, touch down softly on uh, moon. So we will speak the rest of the things after the soft, soft landing on top of uh, moon. Till then, thank you very much for all the members of uh, the satellite community and the industry for your support, which has been continuing over several years, and I'm sure will continue in future also. Thank you very much. Uh, space Application Center Ahmedabad plays a very important role in our scientific instruments and building of the satellites. Over to Director Sack Nilesh Desai. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. At the outset, let me compliment Team ISRO for this excellent work and especially vehicle team as well as the project team. And as we begin this historic journey towards moon, uh, well begun is held, half done, as it is said. So I'm sure that we'll succeed in our effort and endeavor to land on moon safe and in secure manner with a soft landing after 45 days. So I wish all the best to all the people who have contributed directly or indirectly 
and especially to the project team, spacecraft team, as well as my team at Space Application Center, who has developed sensors and other hazard detection and evidence system, which will help for a secured and safe landing on Moon. So once again, I thank all who have contributed in this mission. Thank you. Uh, director of this center, Sadir Saman Space Center, is the chairman of the Launch Authorization Board and also realizing the solid motors of this rocket. So over to Director SDS Ishtar Rajarajan. <laughs> Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected chairman, our mentors and the dignitaries present here, and the entire ISO family, a very successful launch and hearty congratulation to all the LUM3, M4, and Chandrayaan 3 mission. So, once again, the fat boy has done its job and put a very precisely the our prestigious lunar mission, Chandrayaan 3, in the transfer orbit. And I congratulate the SDC Shark team. We have throughout this launch, we had many launch campaigns of C-55 and 56. Along with that, we are proud to have this in spite of the weather conditions here, we have successfully launched LUM-3 in, in the prescribed launch window time between July 12th and 19th. <clears throat> and we had a very good smooth campaign here and all the hearty congratulations to the entire launch vehicle team as well as for the last two months for hosting the Chandrayaan-3 team here and carrying out all the tests to make sure that Chandrayaan-3 is also ready for the mission. And I also thank our entire logistics team who handled this huge crowd throughout this campaign period, in particular, last two, three days. And I, my sincere thanks to the various Indian industries who are now participating in various aspects of solid motor processing as well as the assembly activities of our launch vehicle to make it successful. And I wish you a glorious success in the future to come. And I wish as mentioned in the last week of August, to have a successful soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 lander on the moon's surface and to make history. Once again, thank you. Jai Hind. I request all center directors to join on the podium. Please come, all of you.